Morning. <laughs> it doesn't look like morning with this camera, but it's still dark out. I don't have any sunrise yet. The sun hasn't come up. But with the way the camera's designed, it tries to incorporate as much light as it can. And it looks like we got some clouds today. It looks like kind of the marine layer came in off the coast, you know, and brought some clouds in. And they're going to burn off, and it's going to gradually warm up. But you know, it's kind of interesting. You've always heard that expression that, you know, especially from Christians, hey, it's going to get better. You know, they're always telling you that, hey, look on the bright side, you know. Look at the silver lining. Well, I look at, it's going to get worse. <laughs> yes, it is. It's going to get worse. Let me be the first one to give you the good news. The good news is, it's going to get worse. <laughs> I even got better news. You're going to get tried. Yes, you, personally. It's going to drive you nuts. It's going to push you to the limits. It's going to be bigger than you can handle. But God will also give a way to escape that you'll be able to bear it. But it will be bigger than you can handle. You see, there's a lot of things that Christians say that isn't necessarily true because they don't tell you all of the story. All of the story is you will be tried and tested. You will go through some tribulation. You will go through major trials. You will go through things that are so big you won't know how to handle them because you have to turn to God at some point in time. And that's what God wants to do with you. The good news is He wants to turn you around. Well, maybe some of you just need to be slapped around a lot. <laughs> well, you know, if your life's kind of like getting slapped around a lot, good news. God's doing it. <laughs> Some of it's your own, you know, kind of consequences of your own actions. But the bottom line is God's using it to accomplish his purposes. And that's something that sometimes maybe Christianity hasn't taught you yet. But I can promise you this. It's going to get worse. Oh, yeah, sure. You're going to get blessed. You know, some God will bless you at some portion in your life. In some ways, it will get better. But for the most part, hey, it's the end of the world. What do you expect? Get a grip. Come on now. You're living in the last generation. And it's going to go downhill fast. Now, for the world and some worldly people, if you really want to be part of that scene, it's going to get better. You know, they're going to kind of figure out things, you know, get things kind of manipulated, you know, and coordinated and have more freedoms and more rights and more privileges to do whatever they want to do and invest in their flesh more so than they already are. You know, be fat, spoiled, bratty little people, you know, that are going to hell in a handbasket. That yeah, we're trying to say, hey, you know, we got a better way. <laughs> well, on second thoughts, you know, you guys look like you're having a lot of fun. No, because there's a price to pay. They're going to hell. You want to go there? No. So, we do go through trials. We do go through tribulations. We do go through challenges. We do go through those things that God is saying, hey, I need to do a little bit of surgery. You got cancer and I need to cut some of it out. So <laughs> it ain't going to feel good, but in the long run, you win. Well, let me be clear. In the long run, I got good news for you. <laughs> you go to heaven. In the meantime, you do have trials. Now, you can choose to look at those trials as like, <laughs> or you can kind of look at them like, cool, God's working. Because you see, if God doesn't care about you, if he doesn't love you, if he's kind of like, you know, already put you aside, you know, and you're just kind of like cruising and snoozing and losing, then your life is probably going pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, that's probably an indicator that you're heading the wrong way and you're on the highway to and it ain't heaven but to hell because you see whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth whom the whom God loves he beats with a stick that's another way of saying it or in other words who God loves he challenges to grow and to develop even more so because we're told by Jesus that he who had you know a little bit would be given more but he who had he who had a lot would be given more, but he who had a little bit, would, the little bit that they even had would be taken away from him. Because, you see, God is kind of a wise gardener. 
he knows how to prune and he knows how to bring more fruit but the initial fruit is up to you you you've been given kind of like you know his word you've been given prayer you've been given the church you've been given fellowship you've been given religion you've been given relationship you've been given everything you need including the Spirit of God to really bear some fruit in your life and if you kind of aren't or if you're just kind of like smooth sailing um, you're in the wrong boat sorry that luxury liner is the Titanic and it's heading for trouble and it's going to perish now if you kind of like work at it you know like you're working out your salvation with fear and trembling and you're kind of like struggling if you're kind of like you know a slippery fish you know and you're really trying to work with God and God's kind of like hanging on to you and you're kind of but at least you know that everything's kind of being shook up a lot that's God that's good for you you see that's kind of what he uses to indicate that you are in the right place at the right time doing the right thing just remember it isn't always a trial but for the most part you know you, you got a lot of world in you so God's gonna work out a lot of worldliness out of you so that he can put a lot of heavenliness in you so that that way it won't be such a culture shock when you get to heaven because quite frankly if you can't handle heaven you're gonna handle hell just fine kind of why he gets you ready it's kind of why we keep singing that song people get ready it's not just about like singing happy songs you know and that's what you're going to be do camped out you know in the in a campfire up in heaven you know with clouds and you know kind of like singing marshmallow songs and we got a little more to do you know sorry don't get confused there's more to God than just you know like sitting around with a harp stay stable the uncompromising righteousness shall flourish like the palm tree, the long-lived, stately, upright, useful, and fruitful planting of the Lord. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon, which is majestic, stable, durable, and incorruptible. Psalm 92, 12. Jesus, or James, in 112 says, Blessed is the man who is patient under trials and stands up under temptation for when he is tried and when he has stood up and passed the test and has been approved he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him don't get upset if somebody gives you a hard time today don't get upset if you don't get your way or if somebody says or does something you don't like if you were set up for an upset, stay stable. It's only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. God is going to put something in your way that is going to cause you to really challenge your peace and love and joy today. <laughs> so just remember that whenever something comes along, you know, something's going, that's God. He's testing your patience. So just go, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know, whenever you hear the eh, go, uh-uh. <laughs> and then laugh about it. You see, one of the things that's joyful about being a Christian is if you laugh about it, it really kind of hits you funny when you recognize what's really behind the things that are going on. Because then you just kind of go, ah, oh, man, oh, pshaw. That's too simple. Just let it go. Let God. Because most of religious Christians think they got to do something well really the doing is giving you give it to God and he gets it done you give it to man and they're working out their plan you understand that give it to God he gets it done you give it to man they work out a plan somehow it just doesn't work out that way whenever you leave it in God's hands it always gets accomplished when you leave it in man's hands <laughs> there's a plan but it never gets done you see, they always got a plan to do something, but they never quite finish what they started. That's just the way it is, and Christians are famous for that. So you kind of got to let God do his thing, so that way you get to just enjoy it and sing. That's the way to approach your day today. Whatever trial is coming, it's coming. Whatever trial is going to hit you, it's going to hit you. Whatever, you know, tribulation you're going to discover today, you're going to get it. So rejoice, be glad, for this is the day the Lord has made. And after all, James does say, count it all joy. 
So you might as well learn to laugh about it because it's going to happen. And God said it. So it shall be. And it shall be done. The question is, will you do it in your own strength or in the sun? I choose, quite frankly, kind of get a kick out of it. <laughs> Maybe you will too.